Hello everyone, welcome back to Make It Clever. My name is Chad Bradle, and today I'd like to talk to you about the AuthorBot build surface that I purchased for my CR10. Now it comes in the dimensions of 310 millimeters by 310 millimeters. It comes with three sheets, and when I had purchased it, it was around $16. Now, as of recording this video, it is unlisted or currently unavailable. Um, so I'm guessing maybe they have to do some fixing on this or maybe they're doing some updating because there's some typos on this. So just to use that as a little pun, this video will take less than 10 minutes. So let's get started in how I attach this and how well it does. Now I ultimately ended up attaching this to one of the mirrors in the pack I bought from Home Depot. I attached it to the back side of one of the mirrors and I didn't bother cleaning mine because it was fresh out of the box. So I'm assuming it was clean and free of grease. But if you're going to attach this to something that you have been using, I recommend you cleaning it with uh, isopropic alcohol or something of that nature. So I ended up taking the mirror, laying it onto my build surface squaring it up so it's dead center and then taking one of the three build surface sheets peeling part of the paper backing away not the full thing because i didn't want it to accidentally stick somewhere that i didn't want it sticking so if i peel it part way back at least i have a better chance of removing it and readjusting it so i got it aligned best as i could at one edge and then I slowly creased it and applied pressure down the center as I was also removing the paper at the same time until I was finally able to remove the paper all the way. So once I did that, I applied pressure from the center out and that's ultimately how I ended up uh, adhering it to the surface to help reduce bubbling and creases and such. But that's really it, really simple to adhere and just make sure you're you know when you're about to stick it down that's where you want it so take your time no rush so after i got done leveling out the build surface i ended up using a piece of the 3m paper that came attached to the back of this build surface and i used that as my gauge i did that because it felt a little thicker than paper and i wanted to make sure i had enough of a gap so that the print head would not run into the build surface here so i went around all the way around Tested it, tested it, you know, checked it, checked it, aligned it, aligned it until I was satisfied. And then I just took a regular piece of paper and made sure there was extra play. And that's what I wanted because if you run this into your build surface, if you run your print head into your build surface, it's possible you can fuse the plastic into this. And then that's where you're going to run into problems where it might end up tearing apart or you can't remove your parts from the build surface. So it's okay to have some gap. I recommend giving it a shot. Now, how well does this print? So I found a model of a little Buddha statue online and I set it to a very fine detail and I believe I set the build plate surface temperature to 30 degrees Celsius. I had read online that everyone recommended printing at temperatures of 60 degrees because it would adhere better, but I wanted to do a test because I like to know myself. I also included a brim to help hold it down just in case. Now, what I did notice was the brim was doing a great job holding it down, but I could tell that right immediately around the model, it was trying to come up, but the brim thankfully was keeping it down. But it worked out great, it stuck well, and using my scraper, because if I tried to rip it off by hand, I probably would have broken the model and maybe damaged something else, including my printer. So I used my scraper to get under the edges of the brim. I went out around the edge and then I was able to carefully slide it under and it popped right off. I did notice a little bit of something uh, on the build surface after I did that, but I think it was just tape residue from previous builds and scraping it off. I was able to dust it off and it was fine. After that, I ended up printing a bunch of test cubes and some other random things. One thing I did notice that uh, when I kept printing test cubes over and over, I actually noticed the pattern uh, was on the bottom or in the center of the build surface where I kept printing at. So it's possible that this may kind of do something to the surface, but it hasn't really affected anything and it's still holding up quite nicely. Now, I also want to point out that I did try using different temperatures when I printed the test cubes. I went from 30 to 40, 45 and to 60, 
And of course the 60 degrees Celsius worked out the best. I didn't have any curling and it stuck very well. The other ones did start to peel a little bit in the corners and I was not using a brim when I did those. I'm definitely satisfied with this product. Uh, hopefully they're available soon enough back on Amazon, but the link will be in the description below so you can click there and see if it's popped back up. I do have another great idea with this build service. I think you are going to appreciate, so stay tuned for that video to come. Hopefully you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're going to make anything, make it clever. Thanks and take care.